Only fellow police officers know what the men and women who are out there walking the beat every day are facing. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley sits down with some retired police officers who say that police really are in need of better training and better weapons now to deal with what's going on out there. In the hail of bullets, three of them lost their lives. The recent killing of police officers in Dallas and Baton Rouge has been very hard to watch, especially for retired police officers like Stephen Padden, a 25-year veteran of the Buffalo Police Department. Yes, I was very heartbroken, very disheartened and uh, saddened, uh, upset, all those emotions that came into play. Recently retired Erie County Central Police Services Commissioner John Glasscott is also watching closely. Well, they're terrible. Uh, <laughs> People have to start to listen to one another, but the attacks themselves, there's no excuse for violence against these police officers. The attacks will have an immediate effect on officers who have to respond to everyday calls across the country, said Miguel Rivera, a firearms instructor and retired officer from Buffalo who had 23 years on the force. You don't know who you're dealing with anymore, um, and, and it makes it scary, very scary. One of the big questions raised after the attack is, are police properly trained to protect themselves? And Rivera believes there will be increased emphasis on firearms training. I don't think officers out there get enough training, period. Whether it be with the weapon, whether it be uh, uh, scenario training, whether it be simulation training, any type of training, they need more. They definitely need more. But that training is cost dependent. Certainly you should do it more than once a year. I would suggest two to three times a year with a strong component to go along with that on use of force training. And it is felt that police everywhere need to look at using more powerful weapons to deal with increasing threats. There are still several police agencies uh, in our area that are probably under equipped, if, if you will. There is some concern that the police attacks could discourage people from taking up careers as police officers. The retirees say they hope that does not happen because it would only affect the public and they believe that police work is still one of the most important jobs in any community. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.